Where we are here. Okay. That's like a great station. It's just terrible, absolutely horrible. And um, yeah, the fact that uh, they couldn't get to to the person uh, quickly enough because all the streets are blocked. Uh, th th this is really absolutely terrible because, you know, you, th especially the parents, they will always wonder what if, what if, you know, if, if the ambulance was there and just took the person very quickly, would they, would they live? So it must be terrible. I just came out for a walk and I wasn't prepared to see this, so in that sense it's, it's, it's a shock to the system, but not because of the carnival, because I knew that these things were happening. It's a shame, it's a shame, because uh, he said the guy was 21 years old, he had all life ahead of him, so... It's a tragedy. Yeah, it's a tra tragedy, yeah. I was just hoping the whole carnival would get through without anything like that happening, and, and something did. But when you think about it, it's like one and a half million people or whatever, something could happen with such a crowd over two days and things happen in London anyway. So it's as horrible as it is, it's, um, yeah. Last night, people were like pushing, um, the police was pushing everyone away to the either side of Labrick Grove and then the police officers were like, like looking for stuff with a torch around like the floor area across where we live. So I live by Labrick Grove by the station. So we were kind of almost like viewing everything from bird's eye view, everything. It's just, I think we should be a bit more cautious from now on, just like walking around this area. But I think it was just very unlucky. I don't think, hopefully it won't happen again.